Welcome our first guest on the show. We have Thermax, reported a good set of second quarter numbers where the revenues from operation were up by almost 11 odd percent. The EBITDA too higher, the margins improved by about 300 basis points. We have Ashish Bhandari, who's the MD and CEO of Thermax, joins in for detailing those numbers. Uh, thanks a lot, Mr. Bhandari, for joining in and congratulations on a good performance in an otherwise seasonally weak quarter for you as well. But let's talk about the order book itself. Your diversified order book of close to 10,250-odd crores. Could you tell us about the big-ticket orders that you got in this quarter? And importantly, what is the trend that you're expecting in the remainder of this year? What has the order inflow been in the first half versus what you expect in the second half of this year? Good morning, and thank you for having me here. Uh, on the larger orders, I had spoken last time as well that uh, as we are getting into this particular cycle, we see fewer orders from refining and petrochemical, which is where there's a higher probability of knowing when a particular order is actually going to close. The shift that we see now is more into steel and cement, uh, steel in and international. All three segments have a reasonably good pipeline of uh, medium and large scale project, projects. Uh, Q2 was slightly disappointing because we had a couple of projects, one in which actually we were declared as L1, uh, but the project itself has not yet financially closed. Uh, so we are waiting. Uh, overall, I would say a decent pipeline of large projects uh, for the rest of the year as well. Um, and hopeful that we should be able to show a good performance on orders as well. Would you be able to define what is good? Because uh, in the quarter gone by, mm -hmm. your orders were down by about 2%. Uh, your current order book is close to 10,250-odd crores. What would the quarterly order run rate look like for the next couple of quarters? And what do you end this year with in terms of order booking? Look, as I said, with large projects, it's tough to pinpoint exactly where we would be. Um, we have been at this kind of a backlog now for, for a couple of quarters. Yeah? And if we as a company have to stay on a growth path, um, the good part is that our base orders, which are our, our traditional um, small multi-industry products based businesses, they are all uh, doing quite well, continuing to show uh, moderate but uh, good quarter over quarter growth. On the large projects, um, I do expect that overall the second half will be better. We should see a pickup and my expectation is even on large projects, um, we should overall, as a company, we should show uh, a decent growth on the order book. I don't want to commit to a number, but I do expect the second half to be better than the first half on large orders as well. The second half expected to be better than the first half. Mr. Bhandari, good morning. Uh, my question to you was, you mentioned in your earnings release that your industrial infra business margins increased due to higher revenue. Do you expect this performance to sustain going into the second half of the year, especially considering now that you've mentioned that the second half would be better than the first? And is there a number you would want to give us on that front at least? So the second half would be better on orders, on the large orders is what I mentioned, because the first half was quite tepid, yeah, especially Q2. We had zero large orders, uh, which is unusual given uh, we have found some way or the other to get to this 2,300, 2,500 crores on a regular basis. So coming in below 2,000 crores on orders was, a, relatively speaking, a bad quarter. Uh, so that was the orders bit on revenue and earnings. Um, I think revenue, the backlog, you can see that our ability to deliver the backlog is good. Uh, the factories are working at capacity, customers are picking up equipment. Uh, so I don't expect too much of a trouble out there. On the margin side, we did have uh, one particular international order that got executed last quarter, which had particularly good margins. Yes, yeah, so it had about 20, 25 crores of margins, which were beyond the normal. So, so I, but that said, I think the improved trend that you see in uh, overall profitability of the business compared to uh, last year, I think that can, a good portion of that can sustain, yeah, because our chemicals business is doing uh, better than what it did last year, relatively speaking. Our overall industrial businesses, after the commodity price spike uh, of last year, now that commodity prices are stable, uh, our margins are also stable. This particular quarter was... Uh, Exceptionally good, but uh, even in general, I, I do expect uh, strength in our earnings going forward.
Right. So without making you commit to a number, I mean, just as uh, analysts would pencil in their estimates, uh, revenue run rate of around 2,500 to 2,700 crore per quarter with about mm -hmm. 9 to 10% margins, would, there, would that be reasonable over the next couple of quarters, given the second half is likely to be better? Would, would that be a reasonable estimate? Let's, let's put it that way. No. I would say the second half should be better on large orders. That's what I said. Yeah, our backlog okay. is what drives our revenue and our margins. And our backlog, you can see, yeah, it's about 10,200 crores. So a run rate of 23 to 2,500, I think that's reasonable on the revenue side. On the profitability side, look, there are too many geopolitical moves. There are too many things going on. So to pinpoint a number, I think uh, less so. But I'm, in general satisfied with what we have, the quality of our backlog um, is decent. One final question, Mr. Bhandari. I just want to go back to the point you mentioned that there was nil large orders this quarter. Can you attribute a reason to that as to why such a phenomenon, phenomenon took place, especially since you mentioned that this was unusual? And uh, are there are you in talks for large orders or are you bidding for any such large, large orders in the upcoming two quarters of this year? Look, I think I've been saying this now for three to four quarters that there is a cycle shift. Uh, what we had as refining and petrochemical is now more uh, steel, cement, biofuels, et cetera. Steel in particular um, is notorious because uh, we have a lot of quotes out. We are waiting for when some of those orders will close. This is These are the larger ones. Yeah, so the timing is very tough to determine because the negotiation cycles uh, the project uh, completion themselves uh, take a fair bit of time. Overall, though, I think uh, now where I sit, we have a reasonable, reasonably good pipeline of, as I said, steel and cement, international and biofuels across these segments. We have some reasonably large opportunities. All right, Mr. Bandari, thank you so much for joining in and giving us your uh, outlook for the next couple of quarters. Wish you good luck and hopefully the order activity picks up as well. We're running out of time, not out of questions, though at some point we'd love to speak a lot more about your chemicals and green division as well. That's the management of Thermax. With